guys, this is Anita Mandiratta. Today we are going to discuss about consolidate function with data validation. So these are my products, laptops, desktops, mobiles, TV and refrigerators. I need to create a data validation list here for which I have sold these many numbers in 2023 and 2024. So let me create a data validation list here. So I go to data tab. Under data tools, I have this data validation function. I click on it and then this dialog box appears. So under settings, I need to permit a list and then I have to select a source for it. My sources here, which I have already written, laptops, desktops, mobiles, TV and refrigerator. I press OK and then a data validation list appears here. So I can select whatever I want. Randomly, I'm going to select this. Laptops, desktops, refrigerator. Next is mobiles. Then I select TV. And it is now almost done. Laptops again. So these are my products. Sales in 23, 24. Now suppose I want to sum up the sales in 23 and 24 for these number of products. Suppose for desktop, if, if I want to sum up, I can use sum function and can select the number of sales in 23 and 24 individually. So this is P3, P7, then I can see this number B11, B12, and B14, B15, and that's it. Now, oh, there is one more number, B17. So, it takes some of my time for calculating the sum of the sales in 2023 for tech stocks. Now, similarly, I have to do for 2024 and for other products as well, for laptops, for TV, and for other products as well. Now, if I use consolidate function, I can do it in a more simple way. So, let me show you how. I go to data tab and click on consolidate. This dialog box appears. Under function, I have different other functions as well. For instance, max, min, standard deviation, variance, and others. At this point of time, I'm showing you how to do sum. For reference, let me just delete it. So for reference, I have to select this table. And then I add this table here in all reference. Now it says use labels in. So I select top row because I have my headers in top row. And then I choose left column because I want to consolidate according to my left column, I press OK. So here we go. It gives us the sum of all the products we are having according to the year sales for 2023 and 2024. For instance, laptop, you can see it is the same value as we found here. But through consolidate function, we can do it in a more simple way and very quickly. So thanks for watching.